Rising everybody, we're on our way to go feed the homeless this morning. Babe? What's up everybody? Going to feed the homeless again. Hopefully they're in a pretty good mood. I am. So I'm trying to put them in a better mood, give them some food, tell them a couple of jokes and shit. You know how I go. Stay blessed and stay tuned. See you guys. Thank you so much. You are more than welcome. We didn't bring napkins. Um, there's a campers here too. If you, if yeah, we have enough. All right. Hey, food guys. Rising to you, rising, rising. How you doing, sir? Man, I'm blessed. And yourself? How you doing? Thank you, thank you. No problem. Yes, yes, well blessed. Excuse there. me. Rising to you as well. You are welcome. Rising to you, my brother. How you doing today? All right. Thank you. Yep. Hey guys, let them know, please. All right. Please let them know. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, good morning, brother. Thank you. Yeah. And you as well. Make sure you got that. All right. All right. You are welcome. You have a blessed day. You as well. Well, introduce yourself yeah. properly and then tell your story, man. My name's Brian Johnson. Everyone calls me Red Beard in general. I usually have a big ass beard. Um, born and raised in Washington when I was 16. I was in foster care. I've been living with my grandma for three years before that. And you know, I was 15, 16, smoking off too much, you know, smoking weed and shit. Got to for school. Went to inpatient treatment. When I was 15, it's been my 16th birthday in treatment. Uh, got out, was staying in the foster home for about three months. My dad came down from Alaska, got custody, took me up there. I was up there for about 12 and a half, 13 years. I uh, just working, living life, you know, whatnot. Uh, <laughs> I always said I'd never come back to Washington. I said it like, all the time. Never thought I'd come back. My grandma died. Uh, my sister wanted my. Yeah, down here, just so that, like, her kids had a stable grandparent in their life, you know? Mm -hmm. And so she finally talked me into it. Came back down here Christmas Day 2018. Um, got kicked out of my sister's house, like, a month later. Just because we don't get along with boys, but it's, it's a small duplex, way too many people. Uh, it's been working, living life. Landscaping for like 12, 13 years. Uh, went to school for equipment operating. Uh, what made you not want to come back to Washington? The environment, just the, the whole culture and everything. People really, like Alaska people are just so far amazing. Like if, if like you throw your hydrants pull over on the highway, there's gonna be multiple cars stopping just to make sure you're cool. I mean, you're so far from everybody and anything, you know what I mean? That's, that's how you got it, it's a good shit happens, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, fucked off some bad people. Yeah, started using again about four years ago. Uh, usually just meth. And then, got COVID. And I always kept a couple of goons on hand for my girlfriend because she really liked them. And I was just hurting, everything fucking hurt. My hair hurt, my fucking teeth hurt, like everything. My fucking fingernails hurt. Yeah. Like, shit was insane. So she's like, here, take a puff of this, it'll make pain go away. And it, it did. Okay. That's what got me hooked. So so tough. Yeah. yeah. Then, went to jail on bullshit. Straight bullshit. First year robbery with a weapon. I didn't do shit. Like, I beat scared guard ass, that's about it. So, gave me first year robbery. Just got done. I pleaded guilty to fucking a theft and an assault just to get out of there because I have a seven month old baby that I need to get custody of. 
Thank you for your interview. I truly appreciate it, man. Yeah, hi. My name's Zoe. I'm from here in Tacoma. I'm not born and raised. I was like, I grew up at the crossing it. I was born and raised. 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 We moved from all the three, from the hilltop to the east side, and we like, lived in Saj for really long. I was the only girl. And I got two other brothers. I mean, I got love boys too. Yes. Yeah. You know, I don't like people in my business. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, growing up, I was only eight years old, I started smoking weed. You know, and I really went to the major thing, but then once I got, like, in middle school, so I really don't get more than my sister's new best friend. She was, like, she's really, like, the, like, the more, um, I still stay there yes. to this day. Why? Because my mom, even though she's been out from like smoking and stuff like that, it'd be crazy. I still know that, you know, that you can do it for a reason, you know? Yeah, it would happen for a reason. Even though I didn't finish school, shit, I still, I still tell a lot of people, whatever my language. So tell young people to stay in school. I've been actually been having a shot since so I was 15. No, I'm 17. My mom kicked me out because I was with a dude that used to be on me all the time. And I was doing with him because like he didn't have no family. And I just wanted to like teach him lessons. Like not like teach him a lesson, but like help him understand what family's like. Because we have one. Because we were saying birthday, so yeah. So we went to my mom kicked out, she's out 2020, uh, New Year's Day. She's out in Georgia. And um, my brother called us and he called her and she she made the decision to go pick us up. Yeah, he got me in the hospital with my brother's a beat ass. They beat our ass so bad. Swear, like, my mind changed after that moment. Like, my brother dragged me down the stairs, my legs, all that. Like, they're very abusive, but I can tell they still care for me, you know? It's like tough love. And, like, then I had to go out to Seattle and I, was, and I ended up um, selling dope and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. To be honest, you know, I had to survive and shit. You know, I can't say I'm not really doing different right now, but, you know, it's just being real about you know? Y'all kind of see me. Thank y'all for that too. Yeah, yeah. I remember people like you guys every day. Right? I think, yeah. I, I receive the blessings, you know. Like, yeah. Good. Well, you stay, I'm stay blessed. Fine. Stay mm -hmm. blessed. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Like every day I wake up, I was so good. Thank God. You know, I'm still alive. You know. And when I got shot, I didn't feel it because um, I was running. I guess that it helps. And like uh, what happened was. Um, I found being on the bus, you know, I was homeless out of that shit, like I said, that was, you know, I was just feeling the bus, that's all, I didn't want to give it up, when I got off the bus, um, you know, my, uh, my ex-boyfriend, my other little girl, we all had money, so when people help with money, came up to us, trying to run our pockets, I said, I had to speak for him, I said, oh, my dad, by you, you're not giving me the money, and then, by the grace of God, when we shot at both of us, God was angry, and one girl, we both survived that, so, oh, wow. Yeah, wow. So, it's a blessing to see your face out there, too. Yeah, that's a blessing. But like sadly, I mean like not sadly, but oddly, they they went off together, you know. But um, I still don't, I'm not even mad about them. I'm not even mad at them. I actually got arguments around the corner because he's mad at the world. Shit, I just let it go. Shit, the most that way that me. Chase and words and words. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to share my story how I ever came out and probably look back at it when I get older. Yeah. Most likely be here before then. How old are you? I'm, I just turned 20. Um, okay. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. I'm about to go home and go eat like a, a crab bowl with my mom. Oh, nice. Yeah. Really, cause I, yeah, that's why I kind of said this thing because she wants to make a YouTube um, for her birthday. She already had a camera and I got a camera stand for her. Like, I got a long one for outside and mm -hmm. one, I got a long one for inside. And you uh, got a ring light and I got the long one for on the go. And the short one for on the go. Nice. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. Start that, start that channel. Yeah. yeah. That happens, I you know like I'm probably gonna be forced to treat me to you know stay out of this kind of environment, but it's not even that bad to me. Yeah. Like, I realize like out here also, um, it, it brings the services also bring people together as well as like it break people up, yeah, yeah, also other little services break people up, but yeah. it brings together, and also people also can also keep the relationship and the whole relationship, um, and I realize it's more important than the stuff, yeah. That's, 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 that's just that's, that's 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 like the game you know, like another game. Right. Another player or something, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well thank you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. God bless you too. Uh, they get me trimmed up and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Um just uh I'm just hoping that
you know, my confidence level is high. Tomorrow. You know what I mean? So what, how long has this been going on? Would you say you've been down here in this state? This been going on my, my fourth year. Four years down here. Four years. What do you see yourself doing in the next, you know, year? What's what's the new, what's your goal? Um, How do you get out of this? How do I get out of this? I'm out, I climb out my, by myself. That's right. You know Depend on you. I'm, I'm out by myself, you know? Uh, and what was really hard is that <clears throat> what I do have for transportation, you know what I'm saying? Like, like a bike, you know? They take those like hotcakes. You know? Yeah, they so, stealing everything you try to get over here. Yeah. So anytime they see anybody come up or, or, or see somebody, you know, do something, do something, got something good, you know what I'm saying? That's boom. You know, they take it. Mm-hmm. Well, man, I wish you the best, and I truly okay. do mean that. You know, God bless us all, but yeah. you can get from out of here, man. Yeah. My, my, my first steps is tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? What does the job do? What does what it entail? Uh, lumber yard. Okay. Is it within walking distance or riding yeah, distance yeah. where you can get right. to it? Yeah, it's right down Lincoln. Off okay. Lincoln Bridge. All right. Yeah, so. Well, man, I wish you know, the best, brother. No I truly doubt. mean that. No doubt. God bless everybody. We're going to end this. You want to say anything important, brother? Um, if you ever find yourself in, 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 in a predicament like this, um, find an elder or something that, that, or someone that, that you know what I'm saying? You can communicate to, you know, and talk and, and know where you're coming from. Because in the long run, that, that helps out a lot, you know? You have, you have somebody to talk to, see? Yeah, yeah. Well, y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Stay blessed, everyone.